The Biden administration is reportedly in significant discussions with Vietnam about a potential historic arms deal, the largest of its kind between the two nations, who were once Cold War adversaries. Sources familiar with the matter suggest that this deal could potentially strain relations with China and push Russia to the sideline. The anticipated agreement, which may materialize within the year, includes the sale of American F-16 fighter jets to Vietnam. This move is in light of Vietnam's escalating tensions with Beijing over the disputed territories in the South China Sea. The arms deal negotiations, still in their early stages, have been a focal point in official Vietnamese-U.S. conversations in various global cities over the past month. Washington is reportedly considering special financial terms to facilitate Vietnam in acquiring the expensive equipment, a step that might help the Southeast Asian nation diversify its arms sources, historically dominated by lower-cost Russian-made arms. While official comments from the White House and Vietnamese Foreign Ministry are pending, a U.S. official highlighted the promising and productive security relationship between the two nations. Vietnam's interest in enhancing its maritime monitoring capabilities was acknowledged, and the U.S. is exploring creative financing solutions to assist Vietnam in acquiring useful and advanced equipment. However, this prospective U.S.-Vietnam arms deal could agitate China, Vietnam's larger neighboring country, wary of the global West's intentions in the region. The amplified territorial dispute between Vietnam and China in the South China Sea underlines Vietnam's urgency to bolster its maritime defenses. Experts suggest a delicate balancing act is essential to develop defensive capabilities without provoking China. Moreover, amid the escalating tensions, the U.S. administration continues to juggle geopolitical competition with managing relations with major global powers. Jeffrey or Daniel, an international security studies expert, suggests a shift in U.S. funds allocation to the Indo-Pacific region to empower countries like Vietnam, the Philippines, and Taiwan to resist Beijing effectively. This potential arms deal comes after Vietnam, elevating the U.S. to its highest diplomatic status following President Biden's visit.